All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. I am super hungry today. We are in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. There's so much food to eat, and I'm really excited because we're bringing you for a full-on street food adventure. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go check it out, guys. Get ready for more street food in Kuala Lumpur, the endless street food city. Because today, we're bringing you to five insanely delicious Malaysian street food scenes you're gonna love, including getting into the kitchen of one of the best chili and black pepper crab restaurants in the city, if not the world. Let's eat. Awesome, guys. This is the moment we've been waiting for bringing you in. We're in Little India Brickfield, Kuala Lumpur right now. And right up ahead, we're bringing you for the ultimate Indian curry clay pot. Let's go check it out. Hi, boss. Hi, Hi boss. How are you? Oh, this is it, the clay pot? Yeah, clay pot rice. Clay pot rice. Yeah. And they're all being made in the back there. Yeah. And we just walked into the ultimate chicken, mutton, fish, curry, clay pot station. And Chef Gobi here is making all of these clay pots and we're gonna watch from the very beginning. It looks delicious. And you can see all the ingredients for these curry pots. We've got onion, tomato, chili, we got masala. We got the special spice secret mix down here, cinnamon and star anise, and then we got curry leaves. Okay, and here's the making. Oil, and then some piaz, onion, tomato, curry leaves, and then there's some cinnamon and star anise in there. Oh, and then more onion. Look at the heat coming up now. The aromas are starting to come out. And this is just amazing, guys. The heat is coming up. The smells are coming out. Looks good. Oh, and here we go. Look at this, guys. We're gonna get one of these. Clay pot curry banana leaf. Wow. Okay, and here we go. The oil's in. Curry leaf. There's cinnamon, star anise, and the onion. There's a lot going in here today, guys. Garlic. Tomato, masala, the masala, secret masala. And then it's just getting mixed up and that is gonna sizzle and caramelize and the flavors are just gonna infuse in there. Wow, and look at this, he's just throwing some stock and chicken in and chili paste has just gone in as well. Power Rangers. Power Ranger? Yeah. Oh, secret, santan. Not santan. Not santan. Yeah. Oh wow, and look at that, they just get garnished with that coriander. Chicken, <laughs> mutton. Fish. fish, oh look at that fish, wow. You can also get it on top of a banana leaf and I think that's what we're gonna get because it's pure clay pot without the rice and then you pour it over the rice, look at that. Here comes the banana leaf, look at that. And then you get the cabbage veg mix, oh, oh look at that. Wow, and there it is, thank you. Wow, that's the beauty. Oh, and here it is, look at that clay pot. Wow, right on the rice. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Wow, oh my goodness. Look this at the thickness. Banjir. Flooded. flooded. It's absolutely flooded. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just load it. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. And there it is, guys. Look at how thick that curry is. We got the mutton curry loaded with the potatoes and we saw them make it with all of those secret masala ingredients. Oh, and what's this? Oh, this is a prawn baruva. Oh, prawn baruva. Yeah. Look at how rich that is. Oh my goodness, prawn clay pot. Wow. Look at the clay pot still sizzling. Indian secret spices. <laughs> okay, thank you. That is incredible. He brought us this prawn baruval. And look at how dark and rich that is. You can see it's full of spices. And then that's on top of this already rich, spicy mutton curry over the rice. You can just go right in with hand. And I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh, it's still warm. You'll never burn yourself when you eat with hand because your fingers will feel it first. Let's try it out. Mmm, mmm. Oh my goodness, that mutton is fatty and flavorful. And the curry has this smooth onion aroma mixed with that freshness from tomatoes. And then it's got that curry rich masala. And then it's just brought up another level with those curry leaves. It's really delicious. Okay, and now we've really got to try this prawn garuba. Look at how dark and thick it is. You can actually see the fried onions are totally caramelized in there. It's got prawn, ginger, garlic, it's got cumin, tamarind, all the classic Indian spices, masala, salt maybe a little lemon juice and you can actually see there's big cumin seeds in there and let's just make sure to get that first bite full of that varuval gravy okay let's try it out mm. Mm. Oh. oh my goodness that is so rich 
This gravy right here has so many spices in it. It tastes like a cinnamony forest with cumin, almost like a licorice forest, dark, smoky, prawn-infused masala. Mmm. Oh, wow. With the smoothness from onions and the aroma from tomatoes, and we can just break the papad on here. Oh, yeah. That's it, guys. And go in. We're gonna keep eating this, finish this up. Oh, yeah, and then go for more food later. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. Bye. bye. Thank you. Bye bye. That was delicious. See you. And next up, we're bringing you for four more street foods. Starting with one of the best and most internationally famous street foods from Malaysia. The Mi Goreng Ultimate Fried Noodle. Okay guys, and we are just making our way out deep into Kota Damansara to go for a Mi Goreng. Classic Malaysian style fried noodle. And I think it's just right up here. Let's go take a look. And here we are guys, we're going for Mi Goreng. Thank you. See you. Awesome guys, and we made our way out to a local neighborhood, Kota Damansara here. And right up here, there's a famous Mi Goreng, which is Malaysian street style fried noodles. And we're gonna go check it out, oh yeah. And here we are at Bob and Family. Hi boss, Salamat Sajatera. Yeah. Wow, this is the Mi Goreng. Oh wow, this is the Malaysian street noodle and we came to eat it. Okay guys, so we just walked into the ultimate Mi Goreng stall. Malaysian Mi Goreng at Bob and Family. And it nampaks it up. Looks delicious. Very nice. And delicious. Sangit aromatic. <laughs> so here we are guys, you can see Bob and Family, they got all the classic Malaysian fried noodle dishes. And Ting is just filming. We're gonna take a look in a second, but we are gonna get the mi goreng, the fried noodle. Let's watch how it's done. Oh, sotong. Okay, bole, bole. Oh, here we go. Oil going in. Oh, and here we go, guys. That's the mi goreng. This is the mi goreng. Tons of mi, chili sauce. Look at this wok action. There's vinegar. He's just loading up the vinegar. Tons of mi going in. Tons of noodle. There's some green onion. So there's actually quite a few sauces he's putting into these noodles. We've got the tuka, the oil. We've got the chikap, the sweet soy sauce. And then we've got the oil. And over here, there's a chili sauce and a pasambur sauce. So it's full of spices and aroma. And look at that, it's just getting served. And here comes the egg. Look at that, talur. Wow. Wow, look at all the eggs he's putting in. Five. Five eggs. Incredible. Throwing more noodles in. Wow, and look at all the tofu, Chris. That's the incredible combo. Green onions, tofu, incredible. Three types of meat goreng, Oh yeah? Three types. Three types. Sotong. Sotong. Oh, ini, ini apa? Oh, normal. oh, normal one. Look at those noodles. It's got the wok, hey, that classic smokiness from the charcoal, and chef is a master. Namasaya James. Dan Awak? Bob. Oh, Bob. <laughs> chef. Your son? Oh, so family business. So this is Chef Bob and Bob's mother. And Bob's father taught him how to make these noodles. There it is. Look at that. Oh, and it's just topped with green onion and red chili and then some lime. And then they're gonna add a fried egg on top. Look at this. Wow! Terry Makassi! Look at this. We're at a classic Malay hawker style. Wow! Eating center. And we got two amazing dishes to try here. And you can see Chef Bob in the back there. He is just spinning the walk like a pro. This is the Mi Goreng. Look at this, guys. Wow! So we got classic Malaysian mee, yellow noodle. This is the sotong version. So he throws in sotong, which is squid, and then he loads it up with vinegar and their kacang, their pasambur kacang sauce, which is a peanut, oh, peanut sauce full of flavor. 
He's put in dark soy and topped it with green onion and red chili. First up, let's just squeeze lime on these mi goreng. And mi goreng is one of the noodle dishes of the world. One of the ultimate noodle dishes that you have to try. Here we go. Mmm. 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 Oh wow, that is amazing. It is sweet and nutty from the peanut kachang sauce. It's got that bean sprout nuttiness as well. And then it's got that chili. Oh, and there's a definite aroma that you get from mixing all of those flavors together. The sweet dark soy, the kachang peanut, the chili, the wok hay, the smokiness from cooking on the coal. Very nice. Terima kasih. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. Sang it up. Wow. Number one. <laughs> so you, your uh, husband, teach Bob to cook, and you cook very nice. Thank you, Chef Bob. Sang it up. Terima kasih. See you next time. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. And next up, we're bringing you to one of the most delicious and famous black pepper crab and chili crab restaurants in Malaysia. You need to eat this. Check it out. And here we are, guys. Next up, we are going for the ultimate black pepper crab. And that's one of the things I love about Malaysia is the variety of flavors you can get with crab and seafood here. And we're at Xiu Xiu Restaurant in a little enclave here in KL with rainforest and beautiful nature. And we're bright and early to see how it's done. Just check it out, guys. Love and ni hao. Zhao shang hao. Wow, here we are, bright and early. And we're just gonna check in. And here we go, we're gonna go take a look at the live crabs. Oh, and there they are. <laughs> and look at that, guys. That's the mud crab. This is Malaysia or Indonesia? Oh, Indonesian mud crab. And you can see the claw is the real feature there. There's gonna be a lot of juicy crab meat there. And then the body is gonna have lots of flesh as well. Wow, Thai bangla. And here we are guys, look at this giant kitchen and we are going to be watching a few very special dishes being made today. Hi boss, how are you? Hello. Oh black pepper crab, ma. Oh my goodness. And here it is guys, look at this. This is black pepper. Oh my, it's going to be delicious. And Dang Shifu is just frying the crab. And then he's going to put it in the wok with black pepper. Oh yeah, look at this. Here we go guys, watch this. Oh, curry leaf. Onion, garlic. Oh yeah, that is gonna bring out the aroma. And then look at all these ingredients here. This is hey, hey, Oh, hey, 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 hey. That's the secret, guys. He just put in a giant spoon of black pepper sauce. It smells fantastic. And look at this. The crab is going right in. And look at all these ingredients. There's black pepper, he's making a spoon of black pepper, chili and white pepper as well. Right in the wok. Wow, and xiangda. Black pepper crab. Here is the black pepper crab. This is the This is our The secret black pepper crab. And look at that guys, he's just adding in hei jiang yo, dark soy. It's getting rich and caramelized. Look at that. Wow. Thai bangla. That is incredible. Look at this walk action, the walk skills. Wow, there it is, guys. Look at that black pepper crab. <laughs> that is hen xiangda. It smells fantastic. And it's just getting plated right now. Wow, that is black. Pepper. Look at those giant claws. And then the real joy is going to be in this sauce right here. Watch this. This is what you come here for. Wow. Look at that beauty. Han Xiangda. Thai Bangla. And after watching even more masterfully created dishes like curry clay pot, head butter prawns, Malaysian chili crab, salted egg fried squid, and fatty barbecue pork, we were ready for a feast. Oh, and here we go. Wow, Shesheni, Thai Haola. Look at all these specialties we got today. Thai Bangla. Thai Bangla. We got this classic chili crab dish, which is almost like the iconic crab dish of Malaysia. 
and you can actually see he put, oh yeah, look at that sauce. He put egg yolk in there, in that sauce. It's full of chili and garlic. Wow. And then this one here is what we came to Siu for. The black pepper crab. They've got this rich black pepper sauce they load up in the wok, and it's full of curry leaves and chili and garlic. It smells like an upgraded black pepper with curry. Incredible. And the body is what it's all about there. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. How <laughs> true. Wow. Oh my goodness, that black pepper sauce is perfect. And there's another popsicle. Look at that, guys. You can just dip it in. That black pepper sauce is definitely spicy, but it's like a black pepper spicy, not a red chili spicy. And then you can actually taste the curry leaves and some light spice from red chili in there as well. I think that's one of the best crabs you'll ever eat right there. And next up, look at this. Let's try a beautiful curry prawn. And look, guys, the head butter actually melted into this curry. And we're just gonna, let's just get a good first bite here. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. How true. And I think we found one of the best places for curry prawn and black pepper crab in the world. Mmm. And next up, look at this, guys. Let's go in for that chili crab. And chili crab is so famous for being sweet, spicy, and sour. The triple combo of flavors. Oh, these are beautiful claws. Beautiful claws. One of the ultimate specialties of the world. Oh, wow. We got so lucky. Look at that. We just got a complete popsicle. That's a rare, rare occurrence. Let's just cover it in that chili sauce. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, wow. And I'm really surprised by that, guys. That flavor you fall in love with instantly. I'm usually more of a black pepper or a curry clay pot crab kind of guy. But this chili crab, the sweetness is like from a tomato sauce sweetness and then it's spicy from chili. Oh, and then it's sour as well. That was amazing and I'm full on crab. <laughs> Let's keep going, guys. And next up, before going for a massive tandoori chicken dinner, we're going for a classic street dessert. But this time, upgraded with durian. Here we are, we're just cruising through Chow Kit. Look at this, durian stall is deep in that market. And next up guys, we're bringing you, we're right downtown KL right now in Kampong Paru Chow Kit Market area. You can see the Petronas Towers there in the back. And right on the corner here, there is a famous durian chandel joint. And that's like the ultimate combo of the two most refreshing and delicious flavors in the world. And it should just be right up here. Oh, hi boss. Hello. Apakaba. Sangit bike. Look at all these varieties of durian. D101, D24, Kampong durian from the village. All different varieties and flavors. And so the deal is we're gonna get a big durian and then right across here there's a chendo stall and we're gonna put the durian on the chendo and have a feast. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Yellow. Yellow color. Looks good. 45 per kg. 45. So that's about $10 oh, per kg. Thank you, boss. Okay, okay. Wow, that's good. Okay, so we got the durian and we're gonna walk it over right here, just next door. There's this chendo stall. Apakaba. Bye. I got the Musang King. Oh, okay. Can make durian chendo. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, and here we go. So this is the making of chendo. Look at this ice machine. Wow, let's see how it works. Nice. So that's the ice, and then we're gonna get the gula malaka? Yeah, brown sugar. Brown sugar. And the pandan jelly? Yeah. And then he's gonna open up that durian, Musang King. Wow. Thank you, boss. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, and then coconut, santan? Yeah. Wow. Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Right. Okay, thank you, boss. And there it is. Thank you, boss. Yeah. Tara Makassi. Yeah, oh, beautiful. Thank you. Okay, Musan King. Yeah, that's number one. Yeah. Look at this, guys. That's the Santan coconut milk 
extremely smooth coconut flavor mixed with palm sugar gula malacca which has this intense aroma almost like an upgraded molasses and then the pandan jelly which is vanilla like and then we've got these ultra premium look at that oh, oh, oh. ultra premium musang king durian which is upgraded custard like oh, oh, oh look at that it's leaking we better go right in let's take a try mmm 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 Wow, Musang King. Yeah. Yeah, very wow, very delicious. very delicious. Oh, it's perfectly, wow, custardy. And let's just load it up. Let's just make a mountain here. Look at that. Oh my goodness, there it is, look at that. That's the real joy right there. See that brown ice? That's the Gula Malacca palm sugar, which has this distinct aroma. So aromatic. It's almost like a mixture between honey, molasses, palm sugar, and almost like a sweet date. And that's what it's all about, guys. Hanging out at the street stalls, durian stalls, chendo stalls, downtown KL, enjoying the street food. Everyone here is so friendly. Wow, and that is, mmm. Number one. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. Very much. It was delicious. Okay. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Bye. See you next time. Thank you. Bye bye. And next up, we're bringing you to one of the most famous and delicious tandoori chicken joints in the whole city. You need to see this. Awesome guys, and next up we're just driving through traffic. Feels so good to be exploring KL. After six years living overseas, I haven't had a license or a car, and we just bought a car and I got my license here in Malaysia. So this is gonna be the start of some road trip series. Right now we're just starting out in KL. We're going for tandoori chicken. Okay guys, and here we are. We made our way out into Ampong district in Kuala Lumpur. And right up here, there's a tandoori hut that we're gonna go try some tandoori chicken in. And here we are, guys, look at this. Tandoori chicken hut. There's also chicken satay with Malaysian peanut sauce. But first, let's take a look at the tandoori station. Hi, boss. How are you? Oh, is this the tandoor station? Look at this. Wow, right on the tandoor. Oh, and you can see in the back, they're making the first grill. Let's go take a look. Oh, and here's the tandoor. So it's masala, yeah, masala. yogurt, secret, secret spices. Yeah, secret spices yeah. Wow, that looks delicious. Yeah, Very you. nice. Yeah, marinate for 24 hours. Marinate for 24 hours? Yeah, 24, 24 hours. Wow, oh my goodness. That tandoor is just stuffed with tandoori chicken. And Boss V was just explaining that these ones are faster cooking and then you can cook them also the slow way right over top of this coal powered tandoori oven. Oh, and they just get covered in oil. Look at that. Wow, it's a deep tandoor. And they're grilled right over top of the flame. And then the third tandoor down the line is when they just give it a little bit of extra crispiness. Wow. And there it is, the tandoori chicken. All finished. That looks delicious. Look at how smoky it is. Oh, and then when they're finished, they just get chopped right up. Oh, and look at this. This is the bun. Look at how they're pinched off like that. Wow, perfect little balls. You can get all different types of naan here. Garlic naan. Oh, and look at all the cheese naan being made right here. The cheese just goes right into that naan. Whoa. And then they just get flattened out and thrown into the tandoor. Look at this. Boom, right in that oven. And these are the chutneys. So we've got the mint chutney, the curry, and the dal, and those go with your tandoor. And they just come off. This is what I love about Malaysia. So much food to try. Hi, boss. Yes, sir. Can I have satu tandoori chicken, please? Then satu garlic butter cheese naan. Then mutton kima. Then mint chutney. All the sauce. Boleka. Okay. Sangit bike. Oh, and here it is. Tara Makassi. Wow, look at that. We got a full tandoori chicken. Wow, that looks good. We got this palak spinach gravy. We've got a minced meat. We've got a chicken gravy. This was a dal, I think. And then here's a mint chutney and a mixed veggie. But the real specialty here is the tandoori chicken with the mint chutney. And we've got a few different types of naan. Look at this, this is garlic and onion. Oh, look at that. That's butter, garlic, and cheese. And I think that's what both of these are. And you can just see this one is saturated. Look at that. Absolutely saturated with butter and cheese. And what we're gonna do here is just take some, oh, look at that. Take some of that tandoori chicken from the drumstick and we're just gonna pull it off like that. Whoa. 
And there it is, look at that. That's a full meat glove. And then we can just cover it in this Ooh, mint chutney. That's what chef was telling us the best way to eat it is. Let's try it out. Mmm. 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 Oh, that is unbelievably delicious. It is 10 times better than I expected. The tandoori chicken is so juicy and it's just lightly spiced with that mint chutney. It's the perfect fresh cooling hit. Oh, and the butter and parmesan. Mmm. Mmm. Thank you, boss. Thank you, thank you. It's so delicious. It's some of the best tandoori chicken in the world. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. So tasty. If you guys enjoyed that video, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you so much for watching and please click that subscribe and little bell notification button as well so you don't miss any of these videos. Thanks a lot for watching.